Hey everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm here today with some very exciting news and that is that after the unboxing of this amazing, amazing doll from Nothing Sapiens, Tamakin Space, um, I had told you guys that this was the last run of them but so many of y'all reached out to the artists that they have decided to do another order, not only for Ife but also for Naora, Khan and Sibe or Sib. I'm not sure how you say her name. It's C-Y-B-E. But y'all, that is such exciting news. I am so thrilled that y'all love this doll as much as I do and that you're also showing the artist love. As I've told you many times, I am very much interested in promoting artists on this channel and showing off their work. So what I wanted to do is I just wanted to show you guys all of the details of this doll so that if you want to make a pre-order for one of these ladies in your life you can do so and you'll kind of get a better idea of what they look like because I didn't undress her in my other video so what I've done is I've borrowed a swimsuit from another doll um, to put on her so that we could check out her body sculpting and things like that. Now this swimsuit is from a Miss Monday doll from Joey Versal and she's a 12 inch tall doll but she's a little bit thicker and curvier so it kind of works for her. Um, but I'm thinking she's going to be able to wear clothes that are also made for um, Pasha Pasha and Tender Creation. I'm going to try a couple on here at the end so you guys can see if that works or not and if you like it. But I also, so when I undressed her I realized how much detail was actually in all the little pieces that I got so I think I showed you on the first um, on the unboxing that how the shoes were and that their name is inside the shoe and that the shoes are just so gorgeous and amazing well I looked when I undressed her they also have their um, their logo inside this skirt and look at how everything closes. I love the closures on everything. They're these little loops. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but they're these little loops that close with these adorable closure things, sort of like buttons. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. This piece was amazing. When I started taking it off, I was like, wow, cause see these two little loops close around these things. Like how do you even make something like that? I don't know, but it's so amazing. And just check that out. Now, I think they will have some full sets available but they're going to be limited and the price is different depending on which accessories and things you get. I don't have a full price list of all the accessories, but as far as the dolls go, there are several skin tones which are available. So there's Albino, Nordic, Steppe, and Mediterranean. All of those skin tones are gonna be 460 blank and nude for a blank and nude doll. Then there's the tropical color, which is like a tan, which is 480 and then there's the savannah color which is what my Ife is in she's in savannah and that color is 490. so y'all this is just such exciting news so i saw the artist posted on instagram that because of my unboxing that so many people had reached out and wanted to buy this doll and that y'all that just thrills me so i just want to say thank you all for the support for supporting this artist because this it's our support with artists that enable them to keep working and making and doing the things that we love now another thing about this doll and what they said on their instagram post is that they would probably only be doing the wild chest because some of the molds do actually have to be remade which is why they were discontinuing um, this body. So this is the wild chest, but it is wild, but it's so awesome. Just look at it. I don't have any other dolls that are like this, and I just really love the shape and the style of it, and it's just so cool, and I love how it looks inside her outfit here, and then I love also how it looks inside the swimsuit. It just worked out perfectly for her. I also want you guys to see the detail of the sculpting with this video, so check out the beautiful sculpting sculpting of the chest and the neck here it's so well done i just really really love it and then look at check her out her jointing she's got you know one of these jointed shoulders she's got a double jointed elbow i didn't take her wrist covers off but she's got a joint at her wrist as well just check out how detailed that wrist cover is actually i could remove it right now to show you um the actual wrist joint so that you guys can see how that is i'm just so taken with how detailed all of the little 
I mean, I guess you would say details are all of the little accessories that came with her that are just so well made. I mean, look at the thumb hole there in the glove, in this mesh glove that she's got. I'm trying to get it to show. There we go. See how that's made so well. So if I pull this off, so there's how the wrist joint looks. Um, it is strong. And there's two types of hands too. You can choose from these hands or from the hands that are more cupped and closed, which you saw in my unboxing video. Now I also want you to check out her torso. I love the sculpting of this torso. It's just so beautiful. She's just such a beautifully sculpted doll. So I just wanted you to see that. And then I wanted you to see the jointing at the legs, how this jointing is. You've got, just pinch my finger in it. <laughs> So you've got this amazing jointing system here that's really allows for like a lot of cool movements of the leg. You see how that is? That is so amazing. I really love it. And then you've got, you know, the double jointed knee, which is really beautiful. So she can pull off a lot of really nice poses with the, um, with the body that she has and the joints that she has. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is how well thought out um, like this wig actually has a magnet in it so it stays on and I want to show you how the inside of the head is so it's a faceplate system so we've got the faceplate there there's her name Ife and you can see inside there is the Tamakin space or is that nothing sapiens that's the NS that's the nothing sapiens um, stamp inside and then we also have inside the head and I don't know if this is the actual magnet that's holding the wig on, but you can see there is a, I hope you can see it. We're going to try to catch it on camera here. There's the Tamakin Space logo inside the head. So just really well made all around um, this doll is. And I love also how the face actually goes on. You can see how the face plate system is. So it's like there's an extra little bit of um, security there how it kind of fits into the chin which I really love and the magnets are very strong so the face is not going anywhere and then you can see in the back of the wig there's the magnet there so when you put it on it just kind of holds tight and the same thing with the earpiece you if you watch my unboxing you saw that I was trying to get the earpiece on and then I realized that it's also magnetic so that is just incredible to me and I just wanted to show you guys that. Now let's try her in some different fashions and see what works. First up we have this outfit that was created by Meg Fashion Doll specifically for Tinder Creation Dolls and you can see the fit's pretty good. It's a little bit baggy through the um, hips and legs but not really. I think it actually looks pretty good on her. So I would say that Tinder Creation is going to be a good fit. Um, especially if it's stretchy. Now her bust is going to be different size than the Tender Creation bust for sure, but this fabric has some give in it and it's a little bit stretchy. So I feel like that's going to be a perfect, not perfect fit, but it's going to be really close for this doll. She's going to look really good. I feel like in outfits similar to this that are made for Tender Creation. Again, you don't want it to be too fitted. I don't think she's going to be able to fit into my Tender Creation lingerie that I have. But as far as this outfit goes, because it does have some give there, um, I definitely think that's doable for her. So that's one outfit that you can um, look at that she can wear. Let's try her now in a Pasha Pasha outfit. Okay, I lied. Just for fun, I decided to go ahead and put her in the Tender Creation lingerie so you guys could see how that looks. It's not a great fit because it is very fitted. But, I mean, it could work for photos, especially with these, um, with the wild chest. You can see how the, the fit there is and the, the um, not the sleeves, but the straps are a little bit long for her. But I was able to get it zipped up in the back. So body-wise, it will fit. It's just the chest being a little bit different. And I think she's probably got um, smaller shoulders, thinner shoulders and like a shorter um, area here. So that fit is not absolutely perfect but just wanted to show you guys for comparison. So now let's really try a outfit that was made and intended for a Pasha Pasha Mini. Okay, here she is, another fabulous Meg Fashion doll gown, but this one, or dress, this one is for, made for Pasha Pasha, which is actually funny because my Tender Creation wears this dress and my Pasha Pasha wears the pink Tender Creation outfit, but 
This fit is also good. I like it. It's a little loose again because she's not quite as curvy and full. And you have the give there in the chest. So you're able to get those wild chesticles in, into the outfit. So um, you have that going on. But I like the fit. I think it's good. This is not her style for me. And I doubt I will ever put her in much other than the outfit that she came with because I absolutely adore it so much. I love the artist full set that I was able to get with everything everything that was with it but I did want to show you guys those of you who'll be ordering a blank and a nude doll sort of some outfit options for you you'll just want to make sure you know there's probably a little bit of give in the chest area because of the way that those that wild chest is and I again I love it I think it's so it's so different and just look at her face it's so gorgeous but not in your you know beauty queen kind of way it's gorgeous and she's a gorgeous woman kind of way I just love her face so much they did such an amazing job with this sculpt but anyway I just wanted to show you guys all of that I am going to do a nude comparison of her with the Pasha Pasha and the Tender Creation doll on my Patreon. If you want to check that out, you can check the link in my in the video description to see more about that if you're interested. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to order this doll, you need to email nothingsapiens at gmail.com and you can tell them which you want to order. And you should also check out the website so you can see the different resin tones that are available and you can look at the different sculpts there as well. So I hope you guys will um, join me in being Ife owners or you know any of their other beautiful dolls from Tamakin Space. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the support. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S, Leah W, Jenny C, Doreen Z, Janice H, Mercedes W, Angela E, Cindy K, Bear Sunflower, and Diane B. Thank you so much for helping support the goals of the MPD community and supporting this channel. You can check the description box of this video to see how you can help support this channel through Patreon. Thank you.